Yo, hello. How are we going this fine day? I'm sorry if I disappointed you by sitting in my chair, but I wanted to get another stream done. I've been kind of busy. Like you see the title, big announcement, big announcement. You like that clickbait? Big announcement, September plans, let's catch up. Whatever does that mean? That means I'm not at the skate park, it means I'm sitting in my chair. But anyway, I am here. Welcome. How's my audio going? I need to buy a new mic soon. This is literally the cheapest possible mic you could ever buy, and it is broken as well. Did I see any footage of JD skating today? What is JD doing? Where would I see such footage on the old Insta G? Um, but yeah, I I guess let's let a little more people get in here before I say the announcement, the big reveal. Muted? Jesus Christ. I am an amateur. Sorry. Thank you, first time chatter. I appreciate that's how I get the first time chatter is just mute accidentally. Um, but yeah, we got some stuff to talk about, I guess. Is that a Red Bull contest? Is he really? On Instagram? I figure that's where he's posting it. If you don't know who JD is, guys, JD is a fellow skateboarder, 15 year old kid, and him and I used to ride for the same company. What's up, McStick? Can I watch the stories on my computer? Okay, I can, fantastic. Yeah, we can watch it. Okay, this is him, JD Sanchez. He did recently did a 900, Tony Hawk's most famous thing. The company shall not be named. I need to think of a good code word for it now. It was funny. Uh, I did the collab with Yeb. Um, and it was kind of funny trying to like just subtly talk about Braille. Just be like, oh yeah, I do not with that company anymore. Yeah, maybe I need a code word. Okay, so is this what you're talking about? Copyright music. Oh, he's in Rome? What the heck? Damn, he's already in Rome? That's crazy. Yeah, he rides for H Street now. Is the comp on? The bad breakup place. <laughs> science skates. Bill Nye, the skate science guy. I mean, there probably was a better way to watch the comp. I'm not sure. Just practice. Okay. There's a highlight video with him. Code word blind. Um, okay. So, I guess y'all see my thing. Big announcement. I kind of have two announcements. I have two announcements, and then I have some admin stuff I want to go over. And I want to kind of, like, plan out the month of September. What I was thinking too is we can watch some of the VOD of Yeb and I can kind of like give a bit of commentary over what was happening and what I was thinking in the moment and just like talk a little bit about it. If you guys missed it two days ago, I think I collabed with fellow streamer who's trying to learn how to skate and she really genuinely wants to learn how to skate, not just for the content, not just for the streams, like she's skating off stream. So that's how you know, <laughs> is Janice pregnant? No, that's not the announcement. I don't know how I would announce that if that happened. I don't I don't know if it would be alive. You going back to Braille, Aaron apologized and me and McNug are on the team. Wow, imagine. Damn, when's April Fools? It's kind of far away. I should make like a video like that. Alternate you know the Seinfeld show where they have the like alternate reality, Bizarro World? I should make like an edit where it's Bizarro World. Damn, that's kind of a good idea. I should take all old footage and like pretend that I'm back with Braille. <laughs> but honestly, I've been reading the comments of all my channels and stuff and I've seen that, um, I don't know. I feel like people are just kind of like over talking about Braille. It's like, who cares? Like it's finished, move on. We don't really want to talk too much about it. Announcement Mowgli. <laughs> okay. So anyway, all right. The announcement, the announcement is it's been under your nose all along. Command new is the announcement. So there's been a lot of talk about us 
the Braille members making a new channel. And we have successfully did it. And it is going to launch on Friday. It is going to come with two videos. So command new for the links. And here they are here. Uh, there's Instagram. 2,000 followers from zero posts is pretty sick, honestly. I haven't posted about this at all. Only the other guys have been. Um, 2,000 followers and then on YouTube. Even 200 is pretty good. Should we refresh? All right, I'm testing you guys. I want to see this go up, okay? We're going to refresh. I mean, it went from 27 to 38. All right. I want to see it go up. I want to see it go up, okay? Command new. Ready, set. Okay, we got one. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, this is where it's gonna be. Boom, we got seven. Amazing. Um, only subbing because JD is a part of it. Yo, what up, Andy? But yeah, so we have two videos that is gonna come over here. There was a bit of debate between the guys of how we should release the videos. Um, I can tell you the type of videos they are. One is like 20 minutes something, and it's more like a vlog of us skating and us talking. And then the other one is, oh, look, we, we're skyrocketing, guys. We are absolutely on fire. Then the other one is like a one-hour podcast. I don't know if it's like, I would say podcast, but it's like all of us just kind of like sitting down and having like a catch-up cult. New cult, yes. Damn, that's good marketing, I should say. Please join new cult. I have created new cult if you would like to join. <laughs> um... It's funny that like someone, someone out there is extremely confused. New cult just dropped poggies. Yes. Who's editing you, Ricky, with all your free time? Who's editing you? Who's editing for the new channel or who's editing my videos? Is that what you're asking, Mike? Cult leader t-shirts incoming. Is that a good t-shirt that just says cult leader? A cult member. Damn, maybe cult member is a good one. Cult member t-shirt. Could be lit. Um, but yeah, that's that's announcement number one. But yeah, anyway, so there's two videos, the vlog and the long interview that's about an hour. I, I don't know if I would call it a podcast, but like just kind of like an interview thing where we talk pretty candidly about the situation. Um, it's funny because we mentioned McNug in it and then it was pre, we recorded it before McNug came back. So it's a little bit funny that we mentioned McNug and then he came back. But I think it should answer like most of the questions and it can be like a nice point of reference that, um, I don't know, if people don't have questions, you say, okay, watch this and then come back. Um, but anyway, that, so what I was saying is we weren't sure if we should release the vlog first or the interview first. But what I think is we're going to release both basically at the same time. So when the channel launches on Friday, I'm not sure what time we're going to do it yet. We could just do the old cult leader 10 a.m. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to the other guys. Um, but yeah, we're going to post both the videos at the same time. Because I think that's good because the shorter one, people will be like, oh, the short vid, let's see. And that's more like the style of what the videos will actually be. And then the interview is more just like, okay, we're going to start fresh. Like, let's sort of talk it out. And then we can kind of like begin normally. <clears throat> yeah, grunts are on. What are we doing today? We're just we're just gonna have a little chat, and we're gonna go over the the vod of young Elderberry learning how to skate that I streamed with her on her channel. Please look at Discord. Yeah, we can do that later. Um, and then what I want to do is go over September, and I'll tell you like what my plans are for September. I actually have some big plans. I have some big ideas. My I got uh, stars in my eyes, you know. Um. I just searched the YouTube name and I can't find it. Yeah, it's a little bit weird to find. I think once you upload videos, it will work, but you can do command new for now. That's probably the best way. Followed and subscribed. Thank you. Should we should we check? Should check out progress? Damn, we getting there. We up. We up. Let's go. Appreciate you guys. Maya time. Nah, unfortunately, that isn't the announcement. Okay, second announcement, though. Hmm. Can I view my own Instagram? Ricky, I created a Titch account only to follow you. Literally the only person I follow you can check. Nick2009 Harding. I appreciate you, my dog. Thank you. 
It's very nice to have you here. I hope maybe you do follow some more people too, but it's okay. I appreciate you being here. Um, okay. I've been meaning to check stuck to skateboard VOD. How was the stream? So I deleted the VOD off um, Twitch for whatever reason, but it's on YouTube in four parts. I guess I can show you. Let me just do it like this. Um, it's on YouTube in four parts. What I've been doing the past two days is editing my little heart off. <laughs> that sounded so weird. Editing my little heart out because um, I have like a deadline. So the 24 hour stream, I kept telling you that it was sponsored by that drink thing, um, the hydration sticks. And I had like a deadline for it. So I've been like rushing because I want to edit the video really good, but I've been trying to rush a little bit to get it done on time. And just now I was literally been editing since the morning, I pretty much got it like, it's like 95% done. So now I can like, all right, I can relax a little bit. I'll put the finishing touches on and then send it tomorrow. So then when I send it, Element for the win. Yeah, I mean, Element's a sick brand. I'm trying to get, you know, I think having sponsors and doing ads and stuff, I think is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I think what's wrong is if you're just shilling like bad products, bad companies, like Element's sick. like. I've been drinking them. I'm like, man, this is dope. Like, I'm hyped that I've got so many of these now. So, yeah, I'm trying to... I'd love to get more sponsors for, like, things that I actually legitimately like. Um, and then I'm, like, happy to rep. And then it's kind of win-win, you know? It can, like, um, help me make money that isn't directly from the audience. And it's like, yeah, I made a sick video. It's got, like, a one-minute ad. Like, just skip it if you want. Buy it if you want or whatever. But we are uh, just writing ricky rock and the braille merch i know well technically this is my merch but it does have the forbidden fruit on here <laughs> it does have i was also gonna burn it i have like i want to say i have like 50 braille t-shirts i was thinking what to do with them i was like man should i like go to skid row and make a video giving away clothes to the homeless people but then I'm like, oh, I don't know, that's maybe a little bit too crazy. But then I was like, could I, could I like make a rope or like, could I make an art piece, make them into a skateboard or, or do something like that? Donate. I mean, yeah, I'm down to donate, but I think it's, I think it could do something more interesting than just giving it to, um, what is the secondhand place called? I, I gave a bunch of stuff to the secondhand place once before, like all skate brands. I was like, I was like, oh man, I feel like skaters would maybe rather this than just the secondhand stuff. Toilet paper for the homeless donated to the Church of Scientology. Oh my god. Our piece would be cool. That's the thing. I was thinking I could make a rope. I think I could get all the t-shirts, make it into a rope, and then make it into some kind of art. Uh, yeah, Goodwill. That's what I was thinking of. In Australia, they have different names. Um, I was thinking about it. Because I would... I'm never going to wear Braille shirt ever again, obviously. And I'm never going to wear Crocs sh shirts ever again. So I got a bunch of like... Some of them are pretty new as well. So I don't know. And like, I don't even, I don't think skater kids would really want the braille ones now, especially. So create a web of lies from the shirt, <laughs> make like a giant, make them into rope and make like a giant spider web. But then what do I do? I was thinking if I could make them into a skateboard somehow it would be lit, but I'm not sure if I actually could do that. Give it to Vinny's. Yeah, I'm open to ideas. If anyone has a good idea that we can make it into a stream or a video or something. I feel like that would be ideal. Um, 207th sub. What happened to Crux? I don't know. They just, there wasn't really falling out, but they were just like, oh yeah, we can't pay you anymore. Do you still want trucks? And I was like, yes, please. And then they're like, actually, we're not going to give you trucks. <laughs> and then they unfollowed me on Instagram. I was like, damn, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. Like, why unfollow? Why not just leave it? Be like, yeah, they used to ride from us, now they don't. I don't really respect the unfollow, especially because they follow, like, thousands of people. If they only follow, like, the team, I get it. I think trucks are the worst skate trucks other than Walmart. I mean, <laughs> I'm still riding the trucks. I still got a bunch. The unfollow is personal, Ninja Lifestyle. Well, it's funny because they did the same thing to Garrett Jinnah. They used to rep Garrett Jinnah really hard. And then he, the, basically the exact same thing happened to me. He used to get paid, he stopped getting paid, then he got kicked off and unfollowed. Or not kicked off, but then it, it fizzled out and unfollowed. And he told me that story while I read for them. And I was like, huh, that's weird. I don't know why they would do that. But anyway, who, who really cares about that? Um, okay, second announcement. Sorry so much, Braille gear, and now don't want to wear, but a good hoodie is a good hoodie. 
Well, yeah, that's why I was trying to think. Like, I'm not trying to burn it and just ruin it. I'm trying to, like, create something good out of it. They gave him a pro truck, which was wild. <laughs> yeah. They gave him a pro truck and then unfollow one year later or whatever it was. <laughs> just donate it. Just go to the Goodwill and give it and just, that's it. Yeah, I guess I could just do that. I thought it'd be fun to, like, do something funny there. Okay, anyway, next announcement. Next announcement. I will. Tyler Peterson left Karayuma. Really? I wanted to watch that video part because Levy, my dog, is in it. I had a few things I wanted to watch. I've been putting it off. That's why I was like, all right, we'll do desktop. Okay, next announcement. I will attend TwitchCon 2024. Woohoo! Let's go. I wasn't sure if I would or not. I was like on the fence a little bit um, because I have so much other stuff going on. But I was like, you know what? I will go. So I bought the ticket just then. Check his Instagram post. You know how we feel about liars, my friend. <laughs> I'll trust you, but if you're lying to me, I'll be very annoyed. <laughs> That's just my disclaimer. Twitch over Janice? No, well, so I realize it's three days, and one of the days is Janice's birthday, so I can spend that one day with Janice, and then I can go to TwitchCon the next two days. Did you buy a TwitchCon ticket on the same site as the Olympic skateboarding ticket? I did not. I did not. Okay, he left, you guys are saying? I mean, this... Is this him leaving? Oh, it is. No way. The end is just the beginning. This was the part I wanted to react to. I shot. Get some iron on graphics showing a laser that says LASIK crossing out the Braille logo. Yeah, see, something like that would be sick. I mean, like, put my own art on them and then, like, resell it or give them away or whatever. I think Braille could sue me if I tried to resell it, but I guess I could just give them away. Toe hanging off. Damn, ninja. Okay, should we read this post? <sighs> Tyler Peter Zero Sun. It started right in the middle of the pandemic. I didn't know where the world was going. I was living in St. Louis thinking it what what city is St. Louis? Is it um Is it Georgia? Missouri? Isn't it like, no disrespect to St. Louis, but I've seen like YouTube vids where it says like, the most dangerous place in the world. Should I go there? Literally just in the middle of something. Um, thinking to myself, is this it? Is it all over? Does the skateboarding dream die here? Then I got a call. This new shoe brand wanted me to be a part of what they were building. So they put together a team of great filmers, photographers, and equally great team of skaters, and then started a new journey over the next three years. It took me places my dad and I thought I'd never see. I got to do things I thought I'd never do, and I got to do them with some of the finest people I've ever known. It brought me to California. It gave me a new life, and I'm forever grateful to Karyuma for this. I absolutely would not be here if it weren't for the belief in my skating. Although I am going to miss the guys on the team, I'll still be skating with them. It just... Won't be the same shoes anymore, although this is the end of one thing. It's the beginning of something else. If you ever wonder or happen to see me and ask about my time on Carry Unima, just know I had fun. Thank you. <laughs> Tyler. I like how he... Oh, I guess it's on the barracks. I was like, why did he sign his name on it? But it's because the barracks cross president. Interesting. It's interesting that he dropped the pot and then straight away quit i mean usually that's how it goes damn barra on the account five days ago damn this is so good if anyone had the tricks actually got there for hell yeah whoa Barra's back on social media that's crazy i think unless he like removed follower because this isn't my instagram that's logged in right now but on my real instagram i think barra accepted me but maybe he unfollowed oh now we still in Damn. 
I've tried to DM him before and he never responded. Oh, no, I didn't actually. Oh, yeah, I did. Crazy. Okay, interesting. Um, Video pod is called I Had Fun or We Had Fun or whatever it is. Bear had a private account. I mean, Bear has always had a private account and he would just say follow the <laughs> barracks. He doesn't know you're an SP. I mean, I think he does know that I'm an SP. Barracks used to follow me on Instagram, and now they stopped following me, actually, now that I, I recently noticed that. So maybe Barracks thinks I'm SP, too. They follow uh, JD and Mowgli and Nigel still, but they unfollowed old Rick. Why everyone got to unfollow? I've, like, literally never unfollowed anyone. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know when, though. Yeah, <laughs> unfollow is sad. Unfollow is legitimately sad. But, whatever. Skateboarding be clicky, who cares? I'm so over it. I'm just here to influence it up, Twitch style. Isn't Barracks dead or do they really care? It might have been from some of the videos that I made on YouTube, they're not happy or whatever. I'm gonna unfollow Eric now? Yeah. But, I don't know, they say they're not dead. I saw Eric Huston out when I was skating with Mimo, and it was like... I want to say it was like relatively awkward. When if I meet a random person at the park, I would always be like, "Oh, yo, what up?" Or if I seen a unicycle doing crazy tricks, I'll be like, "Nice, that was cool." Or just be like, "Ew." I wouldn't just be like dead silent. Kind of weird to just see a unicycle doing an insane trick and just be dead silent. I feel like that only way you can do that is if you have like hate in your heart, honestly. <laughs> Super awkward. Yeah, when I ended the stream, because you guys could see in the stream, when I ended the stream, I was like, nice to see you out skating, Eric, like, as I was leaving. And he was so taken back. He was like, oh, 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 oh you too. I was like, dang. It really was super awkward. Braille was my first ever unfollow. I, I mean, I didn't even unfollow Braille. It's just they blocked, so it deleted. But I still, I'm still subbed on my YouTube. Look, it's right there. Boom. He didn't want to be seen. Well, I mean, I feel like the session that he was having, he would have had it at the barracks if it still existed, but instead he went to the skate park. <clears throat> I was thinking Gabe's wedding will be awkward. I mean, I didn't get an invite, but I think it takes a while, right? He said he's planning it. Damn, I never thought about that. Maybe Cairo just won't show. Cairo will say to Gabe, the only way I'll show is if Ricky isn't there. Damn, I didn't even think about that. I mean, surely Gabe, the way Gabe operates, I feel like he'll plan the wedding like one year ahead or something. So it's probably going to be so far away. Is Gabe part of Du Bois? No. I'm saying no. But we'll see what happens. I'm saying he is not. You guys will sit on opposite sides of the room. But w Ninja, what happens if I go up to Aaron and be like, Hi, Aaron. Is he just turn away or does he shake my hand? There's no way he shakes my hand. From everything I know about Scientology, I don't think he does. I think he turns away. He avoids eye contact. Nah, there's no way he touches my hand. Bro, you think of the Thetans that get transferred as soon as he touches me. That would be insane. Imagine they see the leader shaking hands with the enemy. Bro. Is there anyone not ex Braille on Du Bois? No, and I don't think there will ever be, but who knows. He would want to, but isn't allowed. I mean, yeah, that's what I would think. Is Fetty part of Du Bois? No. Revive never said anything about dropping Aaron. Yeah, I can understand why. I mean, Andy was probably like, Andy probably feels like me that he was bummed, that he's like, man, this is such a weird, terrible situation. I don't really want to blow this up for no reason. Aaron's already getting all this hate. Like, I kind of just want to quietly just get get off this. Ricky, someone's enemy is wild. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. I feel like I'm the, like, why would you want me as the enemy? I'm just the most passive dude. <laughs> Uzi says Fetty doesn't skate anymore. I mean, I would believe that. Okay, so anyway, announcement one, Du Bois, command new for the links. Should we check how they're going? Should we check? Ooh, we up, low key. You guys are coming in clutch. 
Let's go. Um, that's announcement one. Announcement two is I will attend. <laughs> attend. I will attend TwitchCon on September 21 and 22. I will not attend September 20, but 21, 22, I will attend. Um, okay, the other things I wanted to do is I wanted to... I wanted to... I mean, yeah, and you guys are welcome to go to TwitchCon if you want to meet up. Like, you know, that's on you. But if, you, if anyone from my community goes to TwitchCon, let me know and we can meet and take a photo or whatever. Well, yeah, I think I can skate in there. I realize XQC is going to be there. I need to do some kind of, if I get a chance to interact with him, I need to, I need to do some kind of skate thing. I need to like give him like some tech decks or something. I need to like shake his hand and have like a tech deck in the hand <laughs> or something like that. That would be funny. Or like maybe I make a watch out of tech deck and be like, Hey man, I know you like expensive watches. Like check this shit out. That could be kind of lit. I wonder who from the OT gang will be there. I mean, I think it says, I think it's Emily, Cutie. Is Cutie in the OT gang? Um, I'm pretty sure Meyer is there too. But see, like, it's interesting because, like, I, they're all going to be so busy. Like, am I trying to, am I trying to hang with them or what? I don't know. Twitchcon.com. Is that a site? Oh, it is. Should we watch the trailer? It doesn't have music. Um, Yev was telling me something that was like a deep memory that I had that I forgot about because I was pre-stream era, but they were saying TwitchCon 2022, 2021, someone like broke their back in a foam pit. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. And they're saying that's why I moved to Vegas and then came back. Should I shake this guy's hand, Dan Clancy? Be like, yo, you ever want to skate? You know what I should do, actually, for TwitchCon? I should make a t-shirt saying, if you want to learn to skate, let me know. Or something. Something like that. It was two inches deep. Yeah, I'm a stupid foam pit. Smoke people like that. Is there a video? I'm sure there would be, but I won't watch it right now, I think. Oh, should I look what happened in the uh, Europe TwitchCon? Because wasn't that just then? Hasn't it just been? Become a sponsor. This is not TwitchCon. This is... Oh, yeah. Should we look? Should we look? Let's see what I'm in for. Foxman, damn me. Don't know. Okay, do some dance. Can I skate out here? Surely I can't bring a board in. Maybe I should bring a foldable board and get kicked out. It's not easy to get people to read your shirts. What am I going to cop? Should I buy merch? That's how I pause. I got to click up there. Eh. <laughs> I thought it'd be more purple. It's all pink and stuff too. Okay, that was kind of, is that a pillow? Walk the green carpet? Trucks in the backpack, deck on the back. This is actually an idea for a YouTube video I always wanted to do is get like, I guess the deck is the hardest. Go to like a museum or something with the skateboard and then they say, sorry, sir, you cannot skate here. And I go, oh, okay, thank you. Then I go back. Then I maybe like the deck, I could have like a handbag that it has the deck or something like a shoulder, like a satchel has the deck, ha the trucks is like a necklace or something. The bearings is like a bracelet. The wheels is like the bottom of the bag or something. I, I, and I have it all on my person wearing it like sort of legit. Then I walk past the guy and he goes, oh, okay, welcome in. And then I go to the bathroom, boom, 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 lock and load it up. Then we get the skateboard into the like illegal place. But I don't know. I was, I was always like, I don't know, like it, it, doing it live would be too hard, but I always thought for a YouTube video, it would be funny, but maybe it's too disrespectful. Awesome idea. Thank you. I have a lot of ideas that, um, I don't end up doing because I'm like, oh, I don't know. I 
Okay, so this is gonna be me hanging out. Uh oh, emoji, emote. Probably TOS. I mean, on YouTube you can do whatever, pretty much. What are they gonna say? Opening ceremony. Yeah, I won't see that. I think it's on the Friday. Dan Clancy. Everything we do at Twitch is in service of this mission. We at its roots, music. Everyone hates the mobile app, right? We want Should I see what he actually says? Everything we do at Twitch is in service of this mission. We want to get you to the content you're coming to see, and the best way to figure out whether or not you want to watch a stream is to actually see the stream. Want to see who else? Who's Dan Clancy? He's the CEO. To the next item in the feed for a preview based on personalized recommendations. So, Mike, if you don't know that much about Twitch, is they were getting a lot of negativity for a while, and the CEO was kind of making bad decisions a few years ago, and then they switched to this CEO, and then this guy people like a lot more, and this guy's like actually streams himself and stuff. Whereas the other CEO was more just like corporate Amazon shill type guy, and and all the Twitch community would be kind of mad at him. It was my understanding. Been a communal experience. This dude, if you sub on DJs Twitch to Dan Clancy, he's like he like is literally grinding. He's literally grinding vids. Dan Clancy, definitely not how you spell it. Dan Clan. Yeah, like 60k. You think you'd have more, but he's like he like does karaoke and stuff. And main, mainly now what he does is like interviews. I think he like use the um go live thing. Yeah, like he's singing. Oh, come on. He IRLs. Yeah, I think he IRLed at TwitchCon Europe. Like the stories that I'm watching. Add one of two. Jeez Louise. No ad block. I mean, is ad block against TOS? I actually don't know. I have YouTube Premium there. YouTube Premium takes all my money. For a long time, I had YouTube Premium sub through Apple, and then it was costs more. If you have YouTube Premium sub through Apple, make sure that you cancel it and sub on the computer or on Android, because it's literally like $5 cheaper or whatever it is. See, look, he's just a, he's just a guy with a little streamer chair, just chilling. <laughs> I don't have turbo now. So you can see how I know. Look, let's see if he sings. I'm gonna Here we go. Sing. Mike. Yeah, I'm a little. <laughs> like, oh, come on. But when I'm not, I need my boss. Isn't that pretty funny? Like he's a CEO and he's just live singing five days ago. Hiroki, saw your stream with Yeb the other day and you got me to start skating to class again. Let's go. I was actually going to go over it a little bit after this. Um, we're kind of just catching up and then we we're going to watch some of the highlights. But yeah, that's really awesome. Skating is the best. Janice was saying like when I went out of the thing, she's like, oh yeah, Yeb was saying this. I was like, oh dang. I'd be curious to see what it, how it comes across like on this side here. But yeah, we'll do that shortly right now we were just looking at twitchcon because i will attend twitchcon yep actually kind of convinced me to go to twitchcon i think this is one reason why dj content has grown the way it has. did i watch booty stream talking about me no i wanted to do that too so i was gonna watch yebs and then watch booty so booty was the filmer but he's also a streamer too um and both of them were telling me a lot about streaming after the stream they're like, oh, we're going to get food. I was like, oh, can I come? Like, I'd love to ask you questions about Twitch. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And both of them were super nice. They're like, oh, any questions? Like, ask me anything. Like, I'm open book, blah, blah, blah. So that was actually really cool. But let's stay on TwitchCon for now. Got an email from Twitch. What? New partner, Colleen. Kaylin? Kaylin? C-Y-L-N? C-A-Y-L-N? I actually like, 
I actually like random spelling. I don't know if this is like a country thing, but I feel like if I would name my kid a common name with the like <laughs> with like incorrect spelling as like a patient built in like patience test because then they say my name's Kaylin and then someone starts writing it and then they're like no 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 K A E and then they're like ah, they just have to every single time they say the name patience test escape the stage I'm sure I will get kicked out but I'll bring some boards in my car and see what they say I guess I'll say no 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 you don't understand I'm the number one skateboarding streamer you gotta let me skate and they'll say shut up fool get in line to meet XQC and I'll say okay sir thank you <laughs> imagine gifted hater going here yeah I asked gifted hater how does he feel when he signs autographs because I'm sure it would start happening to him now and he's like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's kind of awkward, to be honest. He's like, I don't really have a signature either, so it's like a bit of a mess. He's like, yeah, I feel that. Slide to touch. Get the app. Touch. <laughs> it's not funny. I just want to touch the grass. Please download app to touch grass. <laughs> Come on. He internally loves it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's probably... Really does, low key. I don't know what's happening in any of these, to be honest. Hi, I'm Samora. We're gonna be live with Weekend Millionaire just in a second, be sure. Should we see? See if she's still live nine weeks ago. Oh, it's on What's actual up, Twitch. And welcome to the official channel for Isn't that crazy? The guy that raided Janice, uh, Mr. Savage, has more followers than actual Twitch. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Gifted Hater hates his own signature. Whoa! What do they call those things? Plushies? Drag is entertaining. Gaming is entertaining. So why not let's put the- Let's go. Getting a signature that is just one stroke is probably worth once you notice to raise to fame. I recently saw John Cena signing 3,000 things an hour. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Beast does that too. It's just MB. I mean, I guess it is kind of smart, but... You gotta... If I'm signing some, I sign my name because that's what they want to see. Get XQC to do a kickflip. Yeah, that's my goal. Is to get some kind of skate interaction with XQC. I know he skates. Yeah, he shred. He doesn't skate. He used to rip. Like, he could do a tray flip, you know? You don't- you can't do a tray flip if you weren't, like, dedicated skateboarder for years. Did I miss the announcement? Yes, Command New, new channel launching Friday. Other announcement is I'm going to TwitchCon. Um, oh, I also did this, too. I also- I, I took this from Yeb. I thought it was cool. If you write, Command, what's up? I guess with one S, you can ask what we're doing. So it says, we are catching up and talking about future plans. So next time if I'm skating and you do what's up, I'll say, Ricky is doing trick requests. I saw that she had that. I was like, oh, that's a good use of command. You just got to make sure I update it every time, which <laughs> I hope I can achieve. No word if Lance is part of Du Bois. I always wanted to make a video that was like finding Lance in 2024. I thought that would be so funny. But like now, I can't really do that because now he's on to me. Probably I'm on the. There's a photo of my face in the headquarters saying, "Do not interact with this man." Did you see the? Okay, you know, I think I'm gonna become stricter on timing out and banning people for the record. So I think let's keep discussion focused about what I am talking about. Um, but yeah, if Sim Club does anything, I'm going to time him out for like 10 days. Next time he says anything remotely bad. Okay, let's watch some of Yeb's highlights. How's the audio? Hello, booty man. Okay, you can hear? Jet, let's go from 1 to 10. Hold on, let me... You so, you. be normal. Can you do that for me? Everybody yeah, let's see what happened as as just before I met him. It is very hot. There we go. 
Like, I can run... Oh, no, it's too late. How does she have music playing? Oh. Is that, like, Yay! internal? Hey, let's go. Okay. Is it very loud? No, Booty is not the tripod. We don't want to hurt him. Booty? This is Booty it's here, like yeah. It's a big tripod. It's a big boy. But are you saying he's playing the music? Or it's in the car? What? It was an accident! What up, Darkside Everything? She had music the whole live? It's a bit loud. See, that's why I watch, to learn things like that. I didn't learn that by living in the moment. It's the- yeah, I know! It's the big tripod! You think that's a good idea? Music whole live? I'm sorry if I scared you guys with my big old loud voice. What I always thought is like, I want- I want me and the viewers to be the same. So if there's music, I should also hear the music as the viewer. I don't know if I want only the viewer to hear the music, you know what I mean? Uh oh, did I just press knock? Oh, I believe he's right over there. Oh, no, is it four? It's not four, okay. Well, let's go, right. chat. I'm... Yeah, I was early by like a couple minutes. She doesn't have a clock, huh? You really did me like this, bro. What? You really did me like this? Listen, it was not on purpose. Okay. I have my music perfectly turned go, down when I talk, I even in my stuff. room. Yeah, but Darkside, I was saying, like, if the viewers hear it, you should hear it too, Is was my vibe. Wow! Tripod you could sing into a skate rap. Exactly! Hold on, hold on. Also, let's see if I can hold do this. Hold shout on. out to Yeb. I think I can do this. Hold Command, on. shout hold out. On. We're going? Young okay, Chad. Elderberry. Be normal. Can yeah, there we go. Everybody follow spam, be normal. Everybody follow spam, Yeb. Follow. She is learning to skate. And everyone be normal. Everybody everybody cheer for me. Yeah, just like that. Let's I don't go. know if it's possible to stream from the phone, but you can My set it so the music doesn't make it into the VOD. I, I actually did Hello. see... Nice to meet you. Can I shake your hand? Let's go, guys. Damn, the touching consent. Let's go. Rick, Rick is here. Up, Let's chat? go. Be out here. All right, here. Put put him on a tripod for me. <laughs> we'll go on right, inside. Guys, on. I'll also organize my hands. How was the drive? I do. Yeah, not too bad. I was just saying, I wasn't sure. Okay. Like the whole belt. That's. Oh, it man. also might be my girlfriend. Oh, what's up? How's? <laughs> oh yeah, you like that way I, I shout out Janice. This dude kind of pulled up next to me. And he so Janice raided. Like, that guy just said something. I had no idea what it was. And then I, I, I repeated it to chat. The like, do is like I'll do things live, like challenge or whatever. This is just his mic. Video after yes. kind of like what Ludwig does. He yeah. kind of like has it really down. Mm -hmm. oh, he's mm -hmm. the biggest or whatever. Yeah, so well, obviously. Whatever. Yeah. What up, Ludwig? How's it going? <laughs> but yeah, what about you? How long have you been streaming? I've been streaming. It's for funny three that years. people recognize okay. me right away. Um, uh, I've yeah. been skating technically since high school, but like Should not skating like, with tricks and stuff. Just yeah. like. Go Okay, I feel that. But what age did you rate my interaction, yeah, guys? Am I getting that. am I they personable? Because they're the best. They send me everything. I feel like I'm Wait, getting way better at like navigating problem. social <laughs> situations like that, whereas I used to be kind of like insecure. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's a tip. Ten dollars. Thank you for getting me to start skating. It's been incredible. Much love to you from Portugal, man. Yo, Pitta, let's go. Thank you for the ten dollars. That's awesome that you've been skating. That's so rad. Um, you are welcome to come to my Discord and show me some videos or photos. That would be really cool to see. But that's awesome. Skating is the best. Shout out to Yeb for learning to skate too. Sweet. Ow. I brought uh -oh. you, um, if you want to. 10 out of 10. Oh, sick. And some flavors. Wow, nice. I know. I just. Oh, yeah. This, this was a little bit awkward. She goes, Gamer Sups. And I'm like, what? And she goes, Gamer Sups. What? Gamer Sups. I like, I. The way she was saying it, I just I couldn't hear what she was like saying. I think it's right now. I just want you to like it. Thank you. You got it. Also, I Seven can hold, out of ten. hold it in my car for you if you don't want to walk it to yours. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, I'll just put it in my bag. I got this is the caffeinated one, and then that's the non-caffeinated one. Wait, right. actually, I forgot. Damn, I'm more... keep going back. She. Hold on. How was the drive? You game us up, <laughs> right? <laughs> give me wheel bike. You brought two. Yeah, oh. this is for some exercises. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry, let me grab mine then. All right, rate this interaction. I I feel like I messed up here. Low key. I like your board. Thank you. It's from Gamer Subs. Can use, I see? Use code Yib. 
I know the wheels are. Yeah, okay. The cow grip is Loki kind of lit. Where did you to say it's from? Trucks. The board itself is from Gamer Subs, but the what, trucks are. What does are... that mean? Gamer Subs. It's the way she sub. says subs, I was like, it's a board. What's Gamer Subs? And the way she said subs, I couldn't really, I didn't, I didn't clue on to like supplements. Um, uh, an electrolyte. Because uh, we're talking about a skateboard. What's it called? Gamer subs. You haven't heard of gamer subs? Gamer. Gamer subs. Okay, no, I don't know. Is it like, no? is it like, like gaming? Cups, so yeah. They look like all oh, okay. Like... Yeah. Are you sponsoring? I am. Thank you, gamer subs. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, well, hold on. I kind of want to give this to you now. Gamer. I have something for you. Wow, thank you. Alright, this I wasn't sure about. Here, look. Beep, 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 beep. Even though I showed up empty handed, so dang. I'm I guess I gave her the trucks and wheels at the end. Oh my goodness. You don't have to give me a skateboard. I meant to give you a skateboard. Well, still, I wanted to give that to you. We could trade. Damn, that's actually. I think you Look should skate this one. You think so? Yeah. Well, I don't this... have. You don't have grip. <laughs> or grip. Well, I do have grip, but still. Yeah. Damn, I did fine. Sick. Yeah. I, I. All right. Thank you for the gift. I would love to re-gift it to you. <laughs> okay. How about I can, this? I can. I can get. Like, I didn't bring it today, but I could give you trucks and wheels and the grip, and then you could set it up because this. These trucks and wheels, not the best, but for learning, no, it's I, like yeah, it's right. okay. But see, guys, like I denied the gift, right? Denied, lol. Yeah, I mean, oh, well, I'll show you something funny. But I think you shouldn't deny gift. I think it's rude to deny gift. But check this out, guys. You want to see something cool? You want to see something cool? Boom! I got it anyway. I denied it, and I still got it. How? Also, will this graphic get me demonetized? This is actually a sick graphic. Like, it's a little bit hard to see. Let me turn my light. Oh, we still got light. It's like she's holding the board that this board is. Like, I thought that's like such a funny graphic. But what I was going to do is just give this away. Because I was like, oh, you shouldn't give me your gamer subs board. Like, I'm not going to necessarily skate it. So, like, I didn't think you should give it to me. But then at the end, she's like, you sure you don't want this? I was like, oh, I'll do a giveaway. That's That's a good idea. And she's like, yeah, good idea. They always have sick, uh, yeah, shout out, gamer sups. Did I, did I try it, actually? Should I try it right now? Damn, these, all these graphics are kind of hectic. Should I try it right now? I think in general, it's good for you to accept gifts when someone gives it to you. I mean, I, I agree. I will admit I was a little bit taken back. I was like, whoa, giving me a board right now? Feels like a ripoff of hookups. I mean, different market though. Hookups is skating, this is gaming. It's like G-Full, it's probably good. Should I try it? She said one had caffeine, one didn't. I actually don't know what to do with it. GG, caffeine free. But you are almost out of boards, lol. Just got home from the skate park, how's it going? It is going good, we are just reviewing uh, the VOD of Ebb skating. I meant the am anime graphic. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think they make skateboards. I think they just randomly had one. Should we look at the website? Gamer subs. How much does this cost? 40 bucks? Let's go. <laughs> the graphics are hectic. Moist critical? No way. That's the one I have. Let me see this board. What the heck? XQC snorts it? No, he does not. Ooh. Whoa! Two dollars fifty? That's a good price. Where's the board? See what I mean? I don't think they have skateboards. I think that was just like a one-off thing. Oh, I am wrong. Damn, her one sold out. Seventy bucks. Let's go. Seven ply. 8 inch does not include trucks, wheels, or bearings, or grip. Oh, look, will never be released again. 
damn she's skating the one that is never released ever again and i've got this one i'm gonna give it away <clears throat> is it cheap i mean 70 is like normal i would say i was curious if they're gonna say anything about the wood or like who made it oh here we go how many reviews 16 reviews damn no negative ones skate or die <laughs> should i leave a review board quality is good pretty steady great skateboard however when ship skateboard crushed in box of the mini skateboard whoa i didn't get a mini oh we got a pick let's go damn that's actually sick it comes with a fingerboard Yeah, I've actually said, it's like, oh, if you like this, I can put you in touch with them. Should we actually try it now then? Live reaction? I like it. I don't skate and likely never will, but I like it. Dang, homie. Corbin, I hope one day, <laughs> one day you reconsider. All right, let's try. Do I need to read what to do? Dietary supplement? What is it actually for? One serving, one scoop. Servings per container, 100. Directions. Add one scoop for 8 ounce of cold water. Shake until fully dissolved. Add ice. Caution. As any dietary supplement, you should advise healthcare professional. Ingredients. Malic acid, citric acid, natural artificial flavor. Some other chemicals. <laughs> it says stalk us and has the links. 100 servings, keto, not tropics, sugar-free. All right, let's try. Is it going to have a scoop in here? It's caffeine and vitamins. Malic acid will be sour. Raspberry red is this flavor. Oh, I don't want to spill this on my computer right now. Eat it by itself. Oh wait, did did XQC really snort it? Should I Google it? Ooh, smells good. Snorting is not advised. Look it up. XQC snort. Gamer. Sups. Uh-oh. <laughs> the top result is some kid saying, so I sorted Gamer Sups. I feel like it's not... I feel like I don't want to endorse that. I can't really see it, though. XQC reacts to Twitch mod sniffs his own streamer's underwear. What the heck? XQC G fuel overdose. Okay, I don't think we need to watch anything. Let's just try. Ricky is low key gonna be my litmus test to see if I swap soda for gamer subs. Damn. That's a lot of pressure now. This is a nice shaker. Oh, it's like. It's like, uh, it's like see-through as well. So the graphic on the bikini, the graphic will like come through of the color of the drink. That's actually kind of cool. The inside thing mixes it. Yeah, yeah. I know how a, a shaker works. Come on. Mix it with Red Bull. You have to shake it every time you drink it because it settles. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Also, guys, I'm changing how I do the ads. Uh, before I had the ads to four minutes because I thought that's what I needed to have it at. But I can actually have it at three minutes per hour. What? That's the scoop? It's that small? I thought it's like a real big scoop. It's that potent? No way. I thought it was going to be huge. Can you see how small it is? <laughs> Do 10? No, 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 no. 
Is it really that? Okay, one. There's such a big thing for such a small scoop. What the heck? Is that real? Um, yeah, I'm going to change the way that I do ads and I'll just do one three minute ad at the top of every hour or like after every hour. That's going to be 32. One scoop. How much water? One scoop, eight ounce. Is that ounce? Oh, okay. Right. That's actually not that much drink right now. Four scoops. Okay, I'll do two scoops. I'll do two scoops. But yeah, I'm going to do three minutes at the top of every, after every hour. So we do one right at the, as the beginning, as the um, intro is playing. And then I'll do the second one after one hour. So one hour is coming up in three minutes. And I think that's a better way to run it rather than the ads coming randomly every like 20 minutes or whatever it was before. I think one ad every hour for three minutes is better. And then I can really acknowledge the ad break and be like, all right, I'm going to stop what I'm doing. So yeah, I better drink this within the next three minutes. Caffeine free. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do 16 ounces of water. <clears throat> oh my God. Wow. The color. What are we drinking? We are drinking Gamer Sups. And if you don't know what that is, you're not alone. Because I did not know until two days ago. Are you doing a science experiment? <clears throat> Grunts are online. All right, we shake it. Is this going to spill on my computer? Should I, should I leave you hanging like a TV show? Don't taste test until after the commercial break. But see what I mean by the bikini? Look, that's actually kind of sick. I've never seen something like that. The bikini is like clear. See that? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> the hair too? No, the hair's uh, a little bit. It has some shading. Yeah, I guess I guess you're right. All right, we got an ad in one minute, and then I'm going to drink it when we return from the ad. Sick concept. But yeah, what do you think I should do for this giveaway? Maybe I should give this away to... Because um, a skater doesn't know game of subs, right? And doesn't care about game of subs. But maybe I should give it away to a streamer that does appreciate game of subs. It's so funny, she tried to give me the limited board and I just straight up said no. <laughs> Damn. Why did I do that? I was out. No one ever gives me a board. I was like, I wasn't sure what to do. I think the tiny scoop is non-caffeinated. No, I have two different ones. One says caffeine free and one says caffeine. I The one I loaded just then was raspberry and it was caffeine free. Yeah. And then this one's energy. What flavor is this one? Oh, I mean, there's a picture of a pear, but it doesn't even say the flavor. You could give it away at TwitchCon. I don't know about flying with boards. You think I'm going to take a plane to San Diego? Yo, I just drove to San Diego to skate with <laughs> Yeah. It's like a two-hour drive. It's probably like a five-hour plane by the time you count, like, getting to the airport and stuff. Say raspberry again. Should I go raspberry picking with Janice for a stream? Wait, did the ad play? I am new. I sound like a fool. 
No, it's okay. There's no wrong questions. The ad's over? Really? I thought it was saying it's about to play, not it's beginning. Check and sense my lack of aura. Now, yeah, see, the ad's starting now. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna drink it after these three minutes. Shout out to the subs for sticking around. What should we do for the subs only right now? Some exclusive. <laughs> What should we do, guys? Should I hit massage gun myself? That riveting content? Honestly, after the 24-hour stream, I was pretty sore. High-quality content right now. Oh, man, they do feel good. The bra This brand gave me this for free, too. I actually do like this brand a lot. I bought stuff of theirs before they gave me for free. How are my knees? Um... Honestly, my whole body was kind of sore because it was really engaging everything, not just my legs. Like, skating is normally more just your legs, but that was really my core and my abs and even my arms from holding the camera there. Is it hyper ice or hype rice? You know, Billy, I'm going to pretend that it's hype rice. <laughs> because who doesn't love rice? Surely rice has got to be up there with like the one of the most universally loved, not loved, but most universally eaten foods. It's got to be. It's probably number one. Maybe bread is number one and rice is number two. Rice is pretty hype. Imagine a world without rice. What would we do? I love massage balance. <laughs> Oh my gosh. In this part. Oh, yeah. One minute remains. Corn is number one in America? No way. Corn sucks, bro. <laughs> no, just kidding. But corn... Corn makes starch or what which is like the ingredient in everything is that how it works i actually don't know corn has many uses chips no it doesn't have a potato oh tortilla yeah but tortilla you wouldn't think it's number one I'm pretty hungry, actually. I didn't really eat a proper meal today. And then I was editing so hard, and I was like, dang it, I'm just gonna go live without eating. But luckily I can drink this drink. Okay, we are back from the ad break. If you took the three minute of death ad, shout out to you. We're trying to change the way that I do ads on the channel. Channel? Is that what we call it? Um, before they would kind of interrupt the action, but now I'm just going to do one three minute ad per hour. I think it makes it better. Then when the new people come, they don't get the pre-rolls. Um, corn flour, corn syrup, fuel, corn chips. We use corn and everything. Fuel. Okay. So Yeb gave me this from Game of Subs. We're going to take a taste test. What do I do if I don't like it? I missed the ads. Nice. No worries. Shout out to the subs that didn't have the ads. Ugh. Nah, just kidding. Damn, it tastes good. It tastes... In Australia, we have this thing called cordial. Do we have cordial in America? I don't think I've ever seen it. Cordial is like a concentrated soda, sort of, that you mix and then drink. In... Yo, is there a bug in there? <laughs> it's actually something floating in there. I should have washed the shaker, maybe. Um. <laughs> um. He gave me a used bottle. It was sealed. Extra protein? Yeah, that's true. Um. 
but yeah, this tastes really like raspberry cordial. Raspberry cordial is very popular. Did you guys know that beer is made from fermented wheat? But wheat isn't corn, isn't it? I can't believe corn is the biggest export. The biggest food. Lime and cherry cordial are popular things to add to mixed alcoholic drinks. Well, in Australia, we don't worry about the alcoholic drinks. Little kids drink red cordial, and the red cordial gets them all hyperactive. <sighs> Honestly, it's pretty good. It does remind me of cordial, though. I don't know what else to really say. Red 40 to the veins. Red 40 kind of lit. Is that the name of the chemical or whatever? You used to have lime cordial? No, only red cordial. Do not accept any other cordial. Dang, she hooked it up with the merch. I know, right? And I didn't, I can't believe I denied the board. I was a little, like, you know, it's but real life. Get, like, a better one. Sometimes, mm -hmm. when you cool. sometimes I'm a little like, awkward. Right. Yeah, it's not too bad, but I, yeah. when I was, but yeah, before, her wheels and trucks wheel were trash. They were um, Walmart how wheels you and trucks. Give me a skateboard? I know, I was, how did you get that? They sent it to me because they're the best. They sent me everything. See, like, Wait, I, okay, at that point, I didn't, one... I didn't really understand that the brand sent it to her kind of like to give away. I think I would have accepted more likely if I knew that. I just thought she just like bought a board or something. I was like, don't buy a board. No, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, then these guys. So you can say hi to the. To get like a better one. Mm -hmm. But when cool. you showed me on the stream, I was like, oh, it looks all right. Yeah, it's not too bad. But I, yeah. when she I was trying to skate with the worst gear for a bit. I mean, honestly, that's the beginner progression, though. Beginner goes to Walmart, buys board, or just gets bad quality skateboard somehow. You know, streamer is is the same. Like, gets it somehow, and then realizes that it's bad. That's part of the development. So someone has to say, oh, you know what? Your wheels actually kind of suck. And that I said it to her. Now she's got Telling good trucks and wheels. Wheel she bikes. actually has crux trucks. Um, How you are you trying to give me a skateboard? I know, I was How did you get that? They sent it to me because they're the best. They sent me everything. <laughs> Wait, okay. If you won't accept it, then that's a non-caffeinated one. Okay, that's what we just ate. I was going to try to see when we meet up with these guys. Yeah. Sure, mine. Nice to meet you guys. I, and then I just Here looked a little bit, but like I didn't really know anything about it. That's okay. <laughs> Yo, what up? What's going on? What are you guys' names? Dang, she has a belt. Gary and Jeremiah, nice to meet you guys. This your local? Yeah, that's a good idea. Dude, it's a kind of a sick park, huh? <laughs> I got a new skater. I'm going to teach how to do a shove it. Yep. You reckon she can do it? I'm going to learn today. <laughs> First T? Damn. First T is out of pocket. <laughs> Busty is insane. Yeah, Did she give me some rhino pills? No, I asked her about it. The same stream where I skated for the first time. Oh yeah, right here is where I asked her. This nice. is a good park for streaming. You have like a lot of open space. Yeah, yeah, totally. I came here last time and someone was like, I was trying to do. I don't know if you were there. I was trying to do the the trick where you're standing on the board and then you land onto it. Yeah. And um, this dude kind of pulled Can you up like next to me. Oh yeah, there is music. Huh? And I was like. That guy just said something, I had no idea what it was. And then I, I, I repeated it to chat, they're like, oh, that's the Can I like fast forward? Oh, dang. No, I know, but he was like, I wouldn't mind a little this. times too, like, Twitch player. I think that man just like spoke this? to me, but he was telling you the name of the guy who made the trick. Oh, did we get a raid? Did we? Did oh, yeah, here we go. Jason, so that account is actually an Olympic athlete. They went to the... Uh, Look the at Olympic the reaction. Sporting. Yo, that's awesome. Isn't that crazy? Mind that's blown. Cool. Yeah. Oh, it man. also might be my girlfriend. Oh, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Denise. Appreciate you. We out here. Let's go! <laughs> She'll like yeah. that. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> All them accolades. I wanted the I wanted the genuine reaction. Yeah. You hear, you you hear booty? That's a hell of an intro. <laughs> I always kind of like say Olympic people's reaction when you say they were in the Olympics go crazy sometimes but I always kind of say it when we meet people with Janice because Janice she's not going to say it for the most part so I say it and sometimes you can like blow people's right. minds it's cool well are you ready chat <clears throat> also I have a question yeah one of my chat is like, Ricky, bring some rhino pills. And I was like, wait, dude, should I ban this dude? Like, what the hell? So and, then, and then I seen in the title, oh, I was like, wait, no. what? Well, I did put it in the title. <laughs> because I don't know if you know this, but they do nothing. I mean, I think I was talking okay. about you, right. Gia. You're the one that told me to bring them. Like, I've taken them and nothing happens. Okay. To me personally, the only thing that happened was. Should I look I was up like, what they uh, are? Very, like, calm, like, as if I took a Xanax or something. Okay. But no other effect. 
effects, none, zero. Interesting. And the first time that I tried to do that on stream was the same stream where I skated for the first time. Oh, so right. I feel what like order? In, <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, during. Oh my God. I took it during skating. During so skating? I kind of just now marry the two ideas, skating and rhino pills. Just so. Yeah. How long have you been a vegetarian? Oh, 70. Rarity for Rick to 70? Yes, 70 I used to sweat years. all the time. How old I was. <laughs> when I was in Australia, <laughs> I would, I would sweat so much. That's I would it. say crazy it's stuff. Something. Me and my uh, friends just joking around. Yeah. It was it was very interesting to be to come to Braille and then to really like change gears. <laughs> JD said it without an Aussie accent and AI picked it up. Give, give the chat is like, all right. See ya. All right, what's the first um, thing that happens? What else? The best thing about that board is like so you can kind of like maneuver it a bit better. Gotcha. So okay. what we will do How's the quality in relation to my stream? What we will do this is 30 frames per second, right? Around okay. all the way. First we'll go this way. I, I know it says 60, so but I think try. it's 30. We, we can maybe try in the grass so it doesn't roll as much. Position. Or should we go to where she slammed actually? When was that? I guess the With a delicious refreshing beverage. When she slammed, I, I was like, oh man, oh, no, he slammed kind of way too hard right yeah. now. That was, that was more than she bargained for, for sure. <laughs> but she was pretty chill. Oh, it lights up! Yeah. It lights up, that's so cool! Isn't that lit? That is but cool. I mean, I don't know, roll around I think it was... Alright. <laughs> 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 We're probably on the grass after I'm the slam. I'm sorry that I really didn't think that was going to happen right no, then. It's not your fault! Nah, you can do it stationary. Okay. Here we I go, remember here what we I go. said. Jump from this foot, so yeah. you're like already. Okay, heard. Okay. Her TTS was broken. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice. She was a little bit back heavy on that one too. Slightly yes. more bent knees on the more landing. Bent? Okay. Can do. And I think I think let's do like a few and see if you can go a little. Slam was hard. I thought it might be over. Yeah, me to too. I was okay. legitimately like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. I thought that was about to be it. Perfect. Okay. So you've never done this before? No. Wow. I'm just a natural. <laughs> See, look, too much confidence. Oh, man. I shouldn't have said I was a natural and then fallen. You okay? That was, that was a choice of mine. You're right. That was fine. She You're took right? it like a yeah. champ. Hey, at least I did a good job catching you. Yes, you did. Thank you. I didn't feel it. That was brutal. All right, that all was right. actually brutal. Oh, nice. She skater, boy. She Only just tip. instantly bounced Lots back up. Okay. Can't and do. I think I think let's do like a few and see if you can go a little faster, a little higher. Okay. But that, she did the first few so good. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, she she's not gonna do slam on this because okay. this okay. is like saying that. Oh my yeah. god! More bend. You can okay. use the arrow. Okay, so thanks. You've never done this before? No. Wow. I'm just a natural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, too too heavy on the back, right? Uh-oh. Not bent enough. Oh, man. That's a good thumbnail there, to be honest. She should upload that as, like, a clip. Oh, no! No! Can we go frame by frame somehow? I broke my wrist falling that way. Yeah, imagine if she just broke her wrist. Oh, my God. That would have been insane. I legitimately wouldn't know what to do if I like was like, learn to skate, and then we just get broke up. Let's end stream. <laughs> the sound. I shouldn't have said it was. Oh, nice. Skater boy. Only tip. Yes. Slightly more bent knees on more the landing. Bent? Okay. Can't and do. I think at I least think I gave a good like tip. a few and see if you can go a little faster, a little higher. Okay. But just do a few, try to get comfortable. Okay. Okay. Yeah. More bend. Perfect. Okay. So you've never done this before? No. Wow. I'm just a natural. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I shouldn't have said it was a natural. Oh my! I can't even watch it. And, uh, on so that's simple. a staple, you know? Yeah. It's like a staple skill. And that's that's okay, what they so? do in a uh, Lucky she didn't brace and break down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I lucky she just played. took it on the hip. You got it, you got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, more like that. Yeah. Okay. She did not vibe with the caveman. I don't know. 
Do another one on the grass. Okay. She didn't. She didn't like this, which is fair enough. Yeah. All right, mate. It's all about our back. Where everything. I was curious. Oh, that what happened last time she tried to shove? Cause she was saying like she tried and failed, yeah, kinda. and I was like, trying to I was trying to get it out yeah, of it. Like, what happened right? last time? But she, I feel like she didn't really explain. I just feel bad for you guys, cause you're like, is it this? Uh, they didn't um, see it. But what I would recommend is like maybe at the start of the session. Mm -hmm. with Low bit rate. You lived it. Did. All right, now just play quick, that quick, quick, over quick, quick. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is where she lands it. Oh my gosh, perfect. If I can't get this, I don't want you to take it personally. Because I have been having this issue. And you're about to land it. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Work with me. It's funny when she falls, she thought you did it on purpose. That was embarrassing, low key. The ramp was so yeah, weird. Pretty windy. <laughs> and there was a bit of like glare, so I couldn't really see how weird the ramp was. Boom! Oh, let's go! That was sick. Can let's I see take the replay? that. Alright, now just play quick, that quick, quick, over quick, quick. <laughs> What's the chat say? Boom! Dude. Pog. That was sick. Alright, cool! Halfway first there. Try. Unlocked. First try is let's insane. Let's go, first try. Nice Kiss me. How do you feel? Oh. Crack is very comforting. I also she like said crack is comforting. Kind of like she picked up stuff very quickly. Yeah, I mean, her level okay, of send was really good. Right. What the hell is Pog? Oh, man. Pog is a... Is a tail. Should I go to where I fell the drop in? I think... And again, we're using the engage... I feel like it was before that. Maybe even before that. Which, sorry, which leg do you jump with? This one? The one that's still on the ground. Okay. So we're just going Not whoop. the one that's in the air. <laughs> yep. She didn't really vibe with the bone, let's see that. definitely have rail. A yeah. Tight flip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> more up, less forward. Okay, more I could do that. Like that. You are probably knock that one out today, Ew. even. Do you guys remember which part of the stream the drop in was? Dude, if a kid does it and I don't, I'll. I'll is it right now? I'll gift 20 subs. You're going to drop in? I is, that, that. is it your Oh, yeah, time? okay. I'll be sure to help him. Dang, can you do it on smaller ramps? The mic works pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. oh dang, the zoom Seven didn't work so good, though. You just gotta, you gotta really lean I forward and you can do it. You probably know better than me. That's cool, though. Let's go, let's go. Yeah! Oh, I guess, was it before that? Let's yeah, it was. Is it just me? Or is Ricky like the saint patron saint they cut. He's like, I'll learn you today, kids. I'm gonna learn you. You see it, chat? Enhance. Oh, uh, now it's on the... Oh my god. <laughs> what oh, the heck? Purpose, I think. I'm gonna learn you. you see I should have should I claimed it was on purpose, guys. Look how whippy it is. It's it's like literally vert, and I just I just thought it was normal, and I tried to drop in, and I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> what the heck? Purpose, I think. What a pro. It happens. He He's so nice. He's Chat. Like <laughs> God. Land, yeah. land, land, land. What a pro. I know. If someone like doesn't know anything, nah. that's called like they're like this guy can't even drop in. Someone. Okay. Let's drop in. All right, should we go to the dark side? Like, do you have nice <laughs> my stream goes to my house. Yeah. And then so I she switched phones, and then the chat kind of switched yeah, so too. Yeah, I do it with SRT. So it, it's too tall. It feels a little weird. You maybe want to hold. Yeah. Oh, I feel like this takes up too much of the screen. Beat up scooter kid. Oh, but see, the other one didn't have the emotes, and now this one is just all emotes. <laughs> Just kidding, Twitch. No First time chatter, what up? This took me a little bit too. I haven't been skating a whole lot. I think next stream, let's do like a heavy skate stream. Should we start pogging in Ricky's chat? What do we think? Does my... Yeah, my on-screen chat has emotes, right? Uh, 
I was battling. I tried to, I tried to hang on to that one. The pog oh. doesn't work, but the other ones do. Chad, I'm gonna need some W's. Small emotes. Chad, I needed a couple doves. That was sick, that was sick. Let's go. Thank you. I should have just done a normal trick. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered with the dog slide. I was like, man, this is taking too long. I gotta land it. But it's like, it's kind of a long ledge for it. And it was a bit awkward, the width. It was a little bit too narrow. Like, it needs to be either narrower or wider. It was a little bit in the awkward, uncanny valley. Like you said, unlocked. Uh, I got you. Watch this. Wow. Like she really did dial it in. At the start, she was so like no, like hesitant. It's cool to see people progress like so fast. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wholesome reaction. Dang, we got Pepe. <laughs> Um, known for that. What else? Categorize it. Yeah. So I've just been trying to do that and, and trying to do like big... Let me just talk about Twitch. One thing that I thought was so funny is this clip is titled Professional Streamer Professional Streamer and Professional Skateboarder Demonstrate How to Touch Grass. <laughs> With the light. So good. How do people come up with stuff like that? Okay, any who shout out to Yeb. Follow along for her skate journey. But that was cool. And she was very nice and she goes, Yeah, Ricky, you wanna do stuff again? No worries. Like, oh come to TwitchCon, like um maybe I'll come up to LA or whatever. Like let me know if you wanna do stuff. I really appreciate you driving down here. So that yeah, that was cool. Very cool. Now Shout out to this guy too, the filmer, Booty Swagger. Their names are so intense, and my name is just my name, Ricky Glaza. Booty Swagger and Young Elderberry. Um, I think it's this one. I think someone said 29 minutes into this one. I've never watched this guy's content as well, so I'm kind of curious. Fireside fan fiction returns. Put the sag in lasagna. Malcolm in Jimmy Eats World in the middle. What is up, merch? See, look, I need to get on that level of titling. Like, what? <laughs> Fireside fan fiction returns. Okay, I guess so that's telling what we're doing. Fireside. Put the sag in lasagna. Okay. Lasagna. So they always talk about lasagna because the, the N is silent. But he's saying put the sag in. So I don't really understand what that means. Malcolm in the Jimmy Eats World in the Middle. Malcolm in the Middle is a show. Jimmy Eats World is a show or something. Do you know what Jimmy Eats World is? What is up? Without a question mark. Command, merge, command, socials, command. What's that? Should I test this? We'd be like, what the hell, Ricky's in my chat. One year subscriber Prime Gaming PS4 Also, let's give him a shout out. Now that I know how to do that. Shout out a booty swagger. Is that one year subscriber Prime Gaming Piercing Thread 7? Damn, see, this is high quality. I like it. He's in like a spaceship. Whoa, what? He came in just to say thanks, damn. Nice guy. Oh, is the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I did see that, actually. I did see that. Spark up. See, I'm... Uh, even things that I'm interested in is, like, how long do you put the starting soon for? How many September, minutes? Ten? See, look, he has... Mine minutes. is, like, nine. Oh, so I guess I'm right in the zone, huh? Shit. 
turn it up? Or is that okay? Alright, strong start. <laughs> yeah, was saying as well, she's like, Oh, I wasn't sure, like, if you would understand, like, the culture of, like, what it's like to this be a streamer. This is all, you're a cult! Hi, everybody! Oh. Is this what enlightenment oh. feels like? Absolutely! This is, this is what gooning feels like. After a 10-hour goon sesh, that's what your brain <laughs> feels like. You don't need a goon, you got me! Caught! Why is my ad banner still going? Why is the ad banner still happening? Pogo, I just made it in time for the cult meeting. Cult meeting! Oh, I need a, I need a ads to satisfy like Bezos. Cult meeting! Ding, da, ding, da, ding, da, ding. Interesting. I feel like I feel like maybe I should I put a like banner like that. So, so guys, the reason that he has this banner is because at the intro, like me, he plays the ad at the start because it just makes the stream function better. But he has the banner so that when it's showing it in the small screen, you can see that it says he's acknowledging the ad. That's interesting. What is gooning? Google it. All right, I think they said twenty nine minutes. Willy Willcomb, and then there's Will Willcomb, obviously. There's Willy Bald. There's Will. Old Will, Old Flower Dumpling, Whitfoot. Whit. And then there's... Ricky, I need a Twitch language, language <laughs> breakdown. I was lost in the Yeb chat. I mean, I don't know either. I don't know shit. I barely know Pog, and that's like the main one. Old Wise Man Gamwich. <laughs> See, like, I don't know the Keck. That's like Pepe. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. Is that is that what like they called eating ass back in the World War days? I'm gonna get home and have a gamwich with my wife. Like, is that what soldiers thought about? Is that what J.R. Tolkien was right about, really? In the trenches of war? Maybe what we can do together then is I learn the ch the Twitch lingo. I'm sure there's YouTube vids about it. We could do that right now. Talking about his mistress's gamwitches. So maybe Jared Tolkien was hitting the pipe a little too hard. That's what I'm saying, bro. Q, uh, there's no Q names E. Uh, we got Eglantine. All right. We got Eleanor Gardner. See, Eleanor. There we go. Elfstan. Bro, that's just literally Tumblr. Elfstan. J.R. Tolkien invented Tumblr. There's Erling. There's Esmeralda, obviously. There's Estella or Estella. I don't think... I don't know if they have that. There's also Everard Took. All right. Ricky with glasses right. and notebook. Hi, Booty and chat. Right Hello. Hello. Is that what kids are calling it these days? Yo, you weed gamwich? <laughs> Had myself a couple gamwiches last night. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, speaking of yesterday, I want to have a big old fun shout out party for our friend Young Elderberry. So if you did not see, uh, Yeb's stream yesterday, I feel like this is a recurring segment. I feel like every week I've, I've been on Yeb's stream and it's like one of the highlights of my week, if not my year, right? Uh, so I was just, uh... Wait, wait, Keck is the translation of the acronym LOL, laugh out loud, when reading... Text written by members of the Horde faction. See, like, I don't know what Horde faction means. As an Alliance player, I got no idea what Alliance player is. On the online multiplayer game World of Warcraft, W-O-W. -W. Okay, I know that online multiplayer. Kek is a translation of the acronym LOL. When reading r text written by members of the Horde faction as an Alliance. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Is what we say whenever somebody the word sandstorm is referencing Darude Sandstorm. Darude streams on Twitch. He I was in his stream today, he does once a week, and I'm VIP in there. Is that a sick brag? But Darude's the homie, Darude skates. Is that right? Darude? Boom. Huge. <laughs> Thanks, Sandy. We skated together into doubles once. You guys want to see before we listen to this? Darude is cool. I think I can get it like this. Oh, 
We got a squirrel. He was hanging with us on kick, yeah. He comes in here occasionally. He's in the uh, finish time zone. Yeah, look, right here. Boom. <laughs> it's funny because it's... <laughs> It's one of his songs, but I, I, I'll i still get DMCA, so I'll, I'll leave it off. <laughs> yeah, I obviously put it to Sandstorm. I don't know how I bailed that as well. Also embarrassing, bailing a bean plant. But it kind of made it more interesting. Sandstorm for life, yeah. I mean, I feel like Sandstorm is in the top... I want to say the like top 50 of like greatest songs of all time. I think top 100 for sure, but I think even more. I think top 50. What were we watching? Okay, let's get back on track. Make an edit of yourself skating the entire Sandstorm music video. Well, see, the thing with record labels and stuff, it's still DMCA, even though we're homies. It's like, it's like, it's not him. It's all the other, the infrastructure or whatever. Uh, uh, not top featured. One. I was more than just happy to help uh, because our friend had, uh, uh, who was there? Put a little one in chat. Put a little one in chat if you were there and you were able to see it because it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And I'm going to say it. One of the I coolest so things I've ever seen. I am so proud Let's go. of our homie, friend of stream, friend IRL, uh, Young Elderberry. So uh, she had a skateboard lesson from a professional skateboarder. Let's and go. And not only that, but in like a full public skate park with like actual skaters staring. And here's me holding a tripod filming her. Like... And without a doubt, oh, part of a champion oh, look, she's in chat. Took Ricky a lot was such of a falls, good teacher. two falls in particular, but those were mean falls. Got back up and still did the goddamn tricks. So I want to see everyone. If you haven't yet checked out the VOD, uh, please, please, please go, go, go uh, follow Yeb. Go follow Ricky is Yeb. such go a sweetheart, the, the and Yeb is a professional yesterday. skater now. And a huge motherfucking shout out uh, uh, to Ricky, uh, who yeah, came yeah. Uh, all the way down to sunny San Diego. Uh, uh, Diego. To, uh, to do that content, which was so freaking cool. Uh, and you know, I, I don't know if I caught it, but like, it was, it's just, like been, someone like, says you know, those, like, little life dreams you have as a kid. When you see something cool, you're like, I want to do that. Like, I feel like, you know, I, while I never skateboarded myself. Dang, all the VIPs are so nice to me. Like I'm covering it a little bit. They're like, clap Ricky. Ricky was so sweet and patient. Ricky Glazer. Holy shit. <laughs> VIP. <laughs> Damn, that's sick cousins that did i had friends that did i was exposed to it through just my 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 punk world um and uh uh, uh so you know i've watched a lot of skate videos in my day i've seen a lot of skate videos and i've always been like i want to do that i want to film like a skate video and you know what i don't care i can take it i can say that i filmed uh uh, uh skateboard tricks for a professional skateboarder i've said it <laughs> i've said it he can claim the dark slide. I mean, the dark slide was pretty good. Like, if you say how many dark slides have ever been on Twitch, the best one was on my stream that I self filmed. But I think this is probably like the second best ever one. So he can say, I filmed the second best dark slide ever on Twitch. I'll give him the title. There it is. There's Ricky. Go follow Ricky. He's now streaming on Twitch as well. Uh, and honestly, we're just kind of talking uh, outside oh, of look. stream and even on stream. Homie yep, did has it. got the brain and the heart of a champion when it comes to Twitch streams. It is really, really cool to see the things that he's he's been doing. Uh, so please go go check out go check out Ricky. Go give him a follow. Go give him some support. Oh, am I going down? Am I going down? Hello, hello, hello. That's so nice to me. Hello. Look, <laughs> look what it says there. That's so good. Actually, actually, Wait, Ricky. How did you say I can go back? Hello. Hello. Look, look how good that that is the first thing. Number one skateboard streamer. I got real skateboarding. So funny that it's like, I just made that up, obviously, but it's like kind of like sticking. Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah, actually, actually, Ricky uh, uh, was there uh, giving you up skateboarding lessons, and it was so fucking cool. It was so fucking cool. I was just there. I was the cameraman making sure that uh, uh, everything was going uh, smoothly as far as that goes and i had a great time so uh big big shout out to our friend yeb it was an amazing stream please click through it please go give her some support please go watch it because it was really 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 cool and homie did not give up homie did not give up she was tired she did not bruised, give up beaten and got yeah beaten. so so we said i i said like you want to do 10 like learn 10 tricks it's kind of like a good like title or whatever 
And then I could tell off to five that she was like exhausted. And I was like, ooh, maybe let's do the shove it right now. So we can definitely do a shove it. But she ended up doing 10 tricks. But I was like, oh yeah, she's Damn, running I'm out so of gas of right now. Homie. I'm so proud of Because we were going for a long time. To be proud too, because it was such a fun stream. Uh, uh, and she did so well. Amazing skateboarder. Bro, she really did saying, well. That's she had saying. the send. It's like sometimes when people like when people uh, want to try to skate, sometimes they want to try to skate for the content, right? And usually when they do it for the content, they don't have the sand. But she like genuinely wants to skate. So she was sanding like you saw from the slam and to keep going that she was really. And that's kind of what you need. And when you're a little kid and you learn to skate, you kind of like um, the sand is kind of just built in that you go, oh, yeah, whatever. I'm a little kid. Like, what's going to happen? That's your mentality. But when you're an adult trying to learn to skate, it's much harder to have the sand. So she was that's doing what good. I'm saying. OBS Inception is wild. Video work? I have. <laughs> It was so funny because I'm sitting there, like, I feel I mean, like while I'm cool. not a participant, I am an avid enjoyer of the sport. And, uh, uh, I don't know, it feels weird to, like, be like, I have watched these videos and I know these people when I don't skateboard, you know? It feels like being, like, an armchair quarterback. Like, if I were to meet, like, a football player, I'm not going to be like, ah, well, when I play Madden 25... She wasn't sending out of ignorance. No, that's it. what I mean. Is like, you have to be brave to want to learn something new. And you have to, like, be like... I'm afraid, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's what I'm saying. Like a huge compliment. Not saying that like she didn't understand the risk. It's not my place. You know what I mean? So it was just really, really cool just to see uh, how patient he was, how kind he was, how how knowledgeable he was. And it just Very is so nice. funny too. Whenever you see, it's like so hard to compare because we were in a skate park the whole time. Like while I'm filming, I see a bunch of people doing tricks, trying to do stuff. And it's just so cool when you see like... Like, so, like, when you see someone, the reason why they're, like, a professional, when they're good at what they do, you see, like, you know, these kids skateboarding, they've been trying to do these tricks forever, and, like, they just come up to them, and they're like, hey, can you give me some tips? How do I do, I, I believe it was a tray flip at the time. Ricky goes, oh, tray <laughs> yeah. flip? You mean this? Boom, first try. And it's just, like, like, the amount of My tray was weak and there, effort to be and attempts it takes to, like, be able to effortlessly, not only just, like, in front of, like, you know, like impressionable kids like asking for advice but in a live stream while talking like there is just like i mean it's like a social normal pr it's like going up to a comedian and being like tell me a joke no comedian will be like able to perform under pressure like that it's like that's not how that works but <laughs> skateboarders be built that's an interesting stuff. analogy homie was just like oh yeah and just nails it it's crazy so I, was like, I tell you what's a little bit funny about this is that like they say he's kind he's such a nice teacher he's so accepting and then i would say like <laughs> i don't know if you just generally went to the skate park i think people would be nice ish to you but if you just went up to someone and go teach me tray flip i mean they probably would do it if they can I, I feel like it's probably like hit or miss if they would or not but it's nice that their impression and same as like maya that they're, they're just like wow all skaters are the best ever which is good i'm i'm representing for skating that's just like, sick whoop. just like how how it's crazy, bro. It's so cool to see someone like, you know, the reason why they're like successful and the reason why, you know, that people ask them to do these things. It's just still mind blowing to have it in perspective because like it would be because like Yeb is skateboarded. She could ride. Ricky is Ricky. And then there's me who I'm like, I can stand on this board. If you ask me to move anything, I'm probably going to fall and hurt myself. Like that's the, the level of difference from being able. I, I don't know. It's crazy. It was really, really cool. Wait, to what see. does this say? Um, Ricky just jumping off a wall he thought was a ramp and somehow doing it, it kind of gracefully was so funny. That was from the Maya stream. Whoops. It's under here. Oh, the chat is like under where my thing is, which is kind of annoying. But it's saying, Ricky just jumped off a wall and thought it was a ramp and doing it gracefully was so funny. Um, And I had a great time. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going to be better than little Wayne soon. Low key. She, she, that's a good goal. If if she wants to skate here, yeah, yeah, free content for you is that you should uh, say I'm on the challenge to be better than little Wayne, the famous professional rapping skateboarder. I want to be better than little Wayne, little Wayne from when he did a seven step. Little Wayne cannot kickflip. I am going to kickflip and beat little Wayne. That would be funny because I see YouTubers sometimes do that. I'm trying to get more subscribers than Soup Dog or whoever, you know? But that's like a good rivalry. And you could you could even do content of like, I watched this little Wayne video and I'm going to recreate 10 of the tricks. <laughs> uh, if you want to learn how to like skateboard yourself, you should watch the VOD too. I was trying to make sure the camera was focused on a lot of like, you could see where his feet were. 
Uh, they were mic'd up really well. So, you know, I, I wholly encourage if you have any interest. Yeah, I think you could learn a lot from VOD, watching the VODs of, take some of clips beginning. Of the, the, the cool tips and things. Uh, because as far as like information on like, you know, learning to skate or, or learning how to do tricks that aren't like an ollie, flat ground things that can help you improve, it was. That's actually a good point that I've never really considered is that learning to skate you know all the media is like tutorials or whatever it's like very quick this you do this you do this you do this go and practice but watching a live stream of someone actually learning i don't think that really exists even on youtube like barely you know like occasionally we teach people stuff and it's like an edited video but for it to be like many hours of like super genuine um person like trying and failing and whatever that's actually a good point that that could actually help people learn to skate um in a different type of way rather than just like edited tutorials really, i never really, really thought cool about that of just that's like, a good point he made you know how to do things and how to feel confident and and so much plus one for an andy anderson rabbit hole please bro i'm telling you if you don't know who andy anderson is please go watch his videos <laughs> i'm not saying like solely but like dude has been absolutely crazy It was a great stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, it was a lot of fun. How does he like, got such good quality? You know, both Yeb and Ricky put in a lot of a lo like skateboarding and doing this. It was hot out, and like you know, they uh uh they worked their. We watch him booty swagger. Really yes, cool so guy. I met him the other day, and he's low key glazing me up right now. <laughs> but it's really cool to see. Like it was very fun to meet both of them. I think I'll see them both again at TwitchCon now. So uh, I now want, that I bought I want the ticket, more people to go and watch the vod. Go, go and, uh, go and keep, uh, uh, supporting Ricky. Pay my eyes, uh, already Twitch. pay the max. He also max. has a YouTube where he turns videos on there, so, whether you're on Twitch or YouTube, go, go support the homies. Um, cause it was just like... Thank you so much, very kind. It was kind. so cool to watch. It was so cool to watch. Uh, and that being said... I think too, he, I think said, I gotta teach him to skate now. stream to go watch a cooler VOD. I'm doing something cool today, too. But, I mean, that was really cool yesterday. Maybe I should save shoutouts at the end. That, cause now what... No, I'm kidding. Uh... Uh, cause tonight, my friends, tonight we are going back to, uh, uh, an old stalwart that I want to see him reading sign. There hasn't been much in the way that's- I want to like, see the fireside side there fan fiction. Really much. I haven't found- Bone apple teeth. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Teach him skate, it's, he it's, teach it's me stream. Already. TwitchCon's in, like, what, two weeks? He can teach me how to read. <laughs> I always want to use the Photoshop shortcuts. Say- Dang, we got the Damn, mute. Those Zelda really show in progress. Oh, is this playing, but not in the VOD? My stretches? What stretches? Is that what you guys were talking about? I go to the wrong <laughs> stream ends when I learn to read. I <laughs> a bow tie. Is that? Is that? Dude, it, maybe it is like that. He puts the music. Damn, I should get on that level. He puts the music on a cha on like a separate channel of the OBS, and then when it goes to the VOD, a lot of people do that. Damn, homie. I did see that I could do that. I did recently learn about that. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. How would I use it, though? See, but then I... You can do it on the computer, but not IRL with the mic. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking, I could have it on the computer, and then people could do song plays or whatever but then like i wouldn't hear it so then like what's the point just play off spotify <laughs> it's only if you play off youtube or spotify but yeah like I, I understand Andy. it's internal in the computer so the stream hears it but i don't i'm just trying to think how if that would benefit me but not really i guess I, apart from just playing like royalty free music to kill the dead air but see, like, I don't think I like that because I want my experience to be the same as the viewer. I don't want them to hear a song and me not to hear a song. That's interesting, though. I'll think more about it. If you've never been here before, All right, now we got the fight. Oh, perfect. Pretty peachy clean. <laughs> What's this sound but effect? Those keen-eyed <laughs> observers among us. Bogus. We got the fireside. Notice something's off. They notice something's off. I'm not in fucking uniform. <laughs> which, which, which is what the? Heck? Uh, Let's go. Love making recurring appearances and with a bow tie. Damn. Like
tuxedo bow tie. This thing is fucking huge. And silk is like very tiny as opposed to like the corduroy one that I like using because it's like... I don't like when people play music in time stream and comment on it. I don't hear it in the VOD. Yeah, that's true. That's why I think everyone should have the combined experience. That's why like the VOD should get the chat. The the live should have the sound and the VOD should have the sound. Well, there we go. Well, that's just think, uh, what I'm trying to do, set. I guess. I need to just stop playing with this, right? That's what she said. I need to stop playing with this and, and get into our... our and I tell you that everything I said above is true. We are about to take part in looking through a Eastern Shore Fishermen. What does that even mean? I would love Garfield to be French. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Don't let your dreams be dreams. You got to use one word answers, though. One word answers, though. We are looking for Garfield and John Arbuckle. We need Rick, he's got to start wearing costumes when he skates. Loki, good content idea. Because then it's easy title. It's just like, I dress up. Who's someone I could dress up as? What's something... What's like a popular thing? Ninja Turtle or Spider-Man or whatever? Spider-Man goes skating. I feel like that's kind of like someone click on that. Oh shit, Spider-Man. Great Halloween. I mean, it's, it's honestly probably not a bad sure. idea. But Garfield then it's getting a little bit gimmicky. I'm still trying to just be real. Accents, Maybe every once in a while. Impressions. Anything racist, you'll just be banned. I wanted and to hear him, like, actually I, uh, reading the fiction. Garfield walked down the street, whistling his sweet music when a bus passed him on the road. Upon seeing the bus, Garfield thought to himself, Venom. What strangeness. All of a sudden, Garfield's cell phone leaped to life with a thrilling shriek. Who is this? Frozen? Garfield sternly demanded. I am Howard Ben. The Frozen Nicky Ice. Responded an evil voice. But yeah, shout out to Booty Swagger. Very cool uh, to meet and to, for, to hear such positive feedback. So that was awesome. After the stream, we all went to like the pub or whatever and had a had a a meal. So it was cool to hang out with them a bit off stream too. But they, it's cool because what what they did is what I've been trying to do. First interaction is on stream. First time we have met in real life is is documented. My collabs right now, I don't have enough confidence to do that. I feel like if I say, hey, you want to stream with me? Then they go, yeah, I go, okay, meet here at this time. I'll talk to them a little bit. Then I say, okay, I'm going to start now. I would love to just be on and say, all right, it's starting right now. But I don't know. I don't know if I can pull that off just yet. But that's what I'm working towards, especially with the skaters. Skaters are a little bit, they need a little bit warming up to really like get into the social media zone. Okay, well... Now that, so we, we looked over the VOD and we looked over those. Let's see how this is going. Damn, we up, fellas. Dudes and dudettes. Shout out to the YouTube. But yeah, that is the stream title. Where is Skate? The stream title of the big announcement is that this channel is going to be posting a video on Friday. And it's the Braille 2.0 non-Aaron Cairo edition. Big W. But that's pretty sick that we have 300 subscribers without any videos. And like, I'm sure when we post the videos and when we all promote it and everything, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, the other announcement going to TwitchCon. What else did I, oh yeah, that's, I almost forgot what I wanted to do. What I want to do now is I want to go over my calendar because in September, I actually had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do. I kind of want to go to the restroom first though. Um, let me open it in MS Paint because I don't want to put my real calendar. All right, how about this? I know you can't see the computer, just one moment. Am I going to do a subathon? That's what I want to talk about right now. And I want to talk about scheduling too. How's that? Im immaculate? So, which days, did anyone used to cross off the days when they were a kid? I low-key used to. Why am I crossing them out? Like, what's the purpose? <laughs> That's the thickest? I thought you could get thicker. What? Creative Cloud? Class itinerary, yes. I don't want to show my real calendar. I'm going to put it off the screen. 
because I can't remember what's on my real calendar. Okay. So, we're up to the 4th. May the 4th. Okay, so this is TwitchCon. How do I even write? TwitchCon. Boom. It's these three days, 20, 21, 22, but I will only attend. I was like, can I copy the layer? And then I'm like, this is MS Paint. There are no layers. <laughs> um, I will only attend 21, 22. Okay. It's the fifth today? No, come on. No tricking me, Australia, with your futuristic BS. You crossed them out because you didn't have access to the internet and couldn't look up the date and had to keep track manually. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that old, but yeah, maybe. Um, okay, then over here. Oh, I thought that was my wrong window for a second. Then over here, I am going to go to Vancouver. The day after TwitchCon. So it makes my life a bit busy. From here to here, I'm going to go to Vancouver. So I want to stream, but maybe we'll see. So these days I'm going to be with my friend. And then on this Saturday, there's an event with Hippie Mike. You may have know the word Hippie Mike because it's Andy Anderson's mentor. Hippie Mike event. Let me see where it is. Because maybe someone lives there and they want to attend. <clears throat> Hippie Mike event is on Saturday. Vancouver has good reception. Yeah, but I don't have the phone plans. I got the American phone plans, not the Canadian phone plans. Also, I got to remember to make my visa thing. Am I skating around Vancouver? I will stream. I don't know how much I'll skate because my friend is a non-skater that I'm staying with at the start. But we will definitely, he's down. Or I, he actually skated. I made a video with him one time. I actually made a similar video to what the session was with Yeb. Um, he learned all beginner tricks. So he, he skimboards and he's like pretty athletic. Uh, let me get the video. Ricky Glass, a non-skater. Yeah, look, this is him. Teaching a non-skateboarder every basic trick. Oh, man. Interrupt. It's actually I a banger video. I'll put it in the chat if you guys are interested to watch it in your own time. Yeah. But this is a good... Um, um, let's learn some basic If you don't know what tricks to learn, this is a good reference point. Oh, see, look, I probably should have watched this before the Yeb stream bone boneless to be like these. Are the, he got the caveman. But yeah, it's um, he actually did like extremely well, like better than just random person. But he was perfect because he's like athletic dude with like body control and stuff, but just hasn't really ever skated like properly. He's like rolled around a little bit and stuff. You need to stay in Andy's ambulance, lol. He parked it somewhere, I thought. Boom, drop in. But yeah, uh, this is my friend that I'm going to make content with. Maybe we can do a part two of learning to skate or something. Um, all right, let's look at the... Let's try to find this Hippie Mike thing. I think it was on Facebook. Hippie Mike Facebook. Or oh, actually, it's on Instagram. <clears throat> Can't you pick like a one month prepaid SIM card when you visit a different country? Yeah, I will do that, but um, it's not as good as what I have in America. Because America, I have three different SIM cards and I can't make three. I think it's this. 
Ricky Glazer will be at his skate park. Backyard Bash, September 28th. Let's go. So he, he has this skate park and he puts in the event. Park looks pretty sick, actually. When's the reception as well as in Canada? Dang. I think it's more expensive too, no? But anyway, that's the Backyard Bash, September 28th. At this skate park. HMI skate park. Okay, that's that. <clears throat> Then I come back LA. Then I was gonna go. I have another event that I want to go to on the fifth in Texas. Texas event on the fifth. Oh no. Double the cost? Jeez. <laughs> okay, Texas event is on the 5th. So what I was thinking is after I come back from Vancouver, I drive to Texas. Um, this one I haven't fully fleshed it out yet, but it was what I went to last year in Longview, Texas. And I believe it's by Ollie's Skate Shop. I guess let's pull that up as well. I think I saw them posting a flyer. Yeah, so it's this. October 5th, Ollie Skate Shop. They built like a full course last time, which was pretty crazy. Um, street comp, cash prizes, guest judges. So last time Janice and I were the guest judges. The year before that, it was Gabe and Aaron with the guest judges. So I'm trying to see if I can get some other people to come with me. Um, but I'm trying to like figure that out. But that is on the 5th, right? Do I need to get October right now? Um, but what I was thinking is if I drive instead of fly from Los Angeles, if I drive to this, then that means after the event, I could potentially stay in Texas and I could potentially go to Austin and like float around Austin a little bit of that first, whatever, second week of October. So that was my loose plan. So we're right here. We got TwitchCon, then we got Vancouver, then we got Texas. So that's what I was going to do. But right now it is September. September 30th is my B-Day. Shout out, make sick. Happy birthday. Coming soon. Still a little bit away, to be honest. My birthday is near September 32. Chen, what's up? Action-packed month. Well, what I was going to suggest, let me see my calendar because I had some random stuff. This was, it's September, right? So the price of subs is about to go up and they have them cheap right now, I think. Is a sub less than $6 now? Or it's six dollars and that's the discount. Blade minus September twenty, really Blade? Or is that a troll? Um. So what I was thinking is from this September, from this September to here, nineteen. Yeah. I guess maybe not nineteen. Maybe these days. One, two, three, four, maybe this one, but probably these four is I could do a subathon. I mean, is it weak to do a subathon that's only four days? I was trying to do seven, but like I have a little bit of random stuff that I couldn't miss in those time, but potentially we could do a subathon here. 15, 16, 17, 18. What I was thinking to do for it, I was like, man, I don't really want to get a hotel again. I don't really want to do it at my house. But I was thinking we could do outdoor subathon only. Maybe it's easy four days to so like get used to it. Outdoor only. One sub is six minutes or like one dollar per sub or whatever it is. One dollar of viewer spent equals one minute. So if the <laughs> sub is six dollars, it's six minutes. And I have to do a kickflip. So one one sub would be six minutes plus six kickflips. And then I was saying I could be outside whole time and then like sleep in Prius for these days. So it could be fun because we could potentially drive around, go wherever, sleep in Prius at the campground or at the whatever TOS type thing. Um, and I think that could be really fun because then I could kind of pitch it as like, 
IRL, an outside only uh, subathon. But like, obviously, outside only, like, I'm gonna go into the gas station and stuff. But you only need 240 subs for 24 hours. That doesn't sound right. Should we do a bit of quick math? The thing with the subathon is if the subathon lasts for four days, low, like I'll be real, I'm gonna make so much money. Like that's gonna be crazy. But like, not that I'm trying to milk money from the audience. I think it'll be super fun. But it's like, that's why people do the subathons because if a dollar is a minute, like that's insane. Ricky learns the hard way his subathon will be two weeks. Well, that's the thing is I would put the cap because if 1920, I have to, you know, it's Shanice's birthday, I wanna celebrate and spend time with her then I cannot <laughs> obviously go into that time. So I guess this is my only window. I think I had something to do. Yeah, on the 14th, I have something that I have to attend. So I can't be live right then. But this 15, 16, 17, 18, I think let's aim for that. Maybe a four day subathon is nice to start out. 24 hours wasn't too bad. So what's that like 100 hours? I guess we could say 100 hours, 100 hour cap. But look, 100 hours times 60 is 6,000 minutes, right? So that is, it's like $6,000 donated would get me to do 100 hours, which is a lot. The car bit seems like to make it hard, but isn't that good if it's hard? I think that would be fine. It Maybe just charging the stuff might get hard, but I have my power bank and I have, it will charge when I drive and it can charge solar. I think it will be all right. Also, we're going to start an ad break in 10 seconds. Um, and it's going to be three minutes. I'm doing a new thing where we're doing three minutes every hour rather than in going ads. So it's about to start right now. Three, two, one. Shout out to the subs. Shout out to the subs if they're still here. Oh, actually, it didn't initiate. It's going to take a second. Does this sheet really work that many people sub do gifted count? Yeah, Mike. So gifted count. So it would just be any like TTS. If the TTS is $2 that the viewer pays, then that's two minutes, two kickflips. If the sub is $6 that the viewer pays, then it's six minutes plus six kickflips. What about camping? Have a tent? I mean, I think... I mean, if you have a thousand viewers, when you have 80, you need 240 subs a day. I mean, yeah, but if it ends, that's okay too. Like, I don't know. I ask, I ask other people, well, how should I price it? Because I, I don't think if I price it, one sub six dollars is twelve minutes. I don't think I should do that either. But I don't know. It would be more just like to see how it goes, I guess. Or I'll, I'll take tips from other streamers. Subathon skate famous LA skate spots. Yeah, or we could just drive to different city, and go to wherever. Basically, I think that would be very cool. Um, also, I should pin this as a comment. I don't know. I didn't do it earlier. Yuri did 30 days and his views weren't that insane. Yeah. I mean, Yuri is obviously more established streamer, but Yuri, one thing Yuri did with the 30 days is he would, um, he would stop the counter while he was asleep. So the time that he's asleep, he's like, all right, I'm not going to charge you for the sleeping time. He says, I will, I will let you do whatever. Did the ad start? I really need to go to the bathroom. Let me see if I can manually start it. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm going to go to the restroom right now. Okay, if you're sub, I apologize. You can look at my lovely calendar. Was that yours balloon stream? No. It was, that was a different one. So he did a $1 per one balloon. So that it made a lot of money too. You're going to go overnight. Yeah, I would think so. If I do those days, I don't see why not. I could leave it on overnight. I guess we could do the thing where when I sleep, the counter stops just to make sure, but don't forget Janice's birthday. I will not forget. That's why it can only be these four days. And then here we got that, but all right, I'm going to go to the restroom. I'm so hungry. I'm going to make some popcorn right now. Um, <clears throat> thank you. I was just thinking though, this is what's crazy is that like, if I did do this subathon, I go subathon, then like two days with girlfriend, nice birthday time, 
Then I go straight away to TwitchCon. Then the next day, I go to Vancouver. Then tiny bit of, like, not really a break. And then I drive to Texas. Man, that's a lot. Maybe I shouldn't do the subathon there. But see, the problem is, is that's my only chance when I have a bunch of days free. I guess actually, no, actually, if I did the subathon earlier, pro streamer moves. But I mean, I literally might be dead by then. If I do all that, and then the problem is, is like, I'm trying to make YouTube videos too. When am I going to make the YouTube vids? When am I going to edit them? When am I going to do stuff like that? May need to vacate. And then I wanted to hang out in Texas for a while, for like float around Austin kind of. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that there. If I look at my calendar, these are the two days where I have to do something. Here. And here. I made promises on these days. Where I cannot stream it. But... If I want, if I'm only going to go four days, I could put the four days here. One, two, three, four. I can give myself four days to prepare, then do four days. I don't know if it's too crazy to straight away do it, but maybe I could do it here. I mean, and do seven days to start on Thursday. I'm not ready for that. Got to make enough money to hire an editor. That is my plan. There's no incentive to do a subathon right now anyway. Well, this, the little bit of incentive would be that September has the discount. But like, I kind of just wanted to do it for fun. I was going to do the 24th first. I, I always wanted to do a 24 hour stream first before I did the subathon. But now that the 24 was fine, it's like, oh yeah, I could easily do that. But I think doing it here is smarter than here because then at least I have these days off and then I go crazy. And I could make some YouTube vids in that time. Yeah, you know what? I'm thinking that's the new date. None of this 15 to 18. I'm thinking 8 to 11. I'll sub and donate for sure if you are still live when I am awake. But see, I appreciate you. I'm not trying to milk. That's the thing is like, I think as a stream, you got to balance like creating good content and having good community and then like milking the audience. I don't think it's nice to try to milk the audience. Um... But I think it would be fun. I think it would be like kind of like a fun challenge. All right. I'm ready now. Oh, look at that. Smoking pop popcorn. I literally haven't eaten anything today, so I'm going to eat popcorn. Milk us? <laughs> well, yeah, I would, I would just be fun to see how it goes, you know. I got so many videos that I wanted to react to. Okay, I think that's the planning part concluded. Um, also guys, if you're watching the VOD, let me know your thoughts about these dates. But how do you get new views who aren't subs? I just got to do more stuff like the skateboard video. I've been editing the 24 hour stream board attached to feet. YouTube edit is so good. I feel like if those get a lot of views and in the video I say, oh yeah, this was live on my Twitch. That's how you gain new followers. And I just need to keep doing that. Do crazy thing, make bang and vid. And just it will loop and it will just keep going but it's just i just have to do it you know i just got to put my foot on the gas and just run it 